Hey, lovely people. Yes, you are crooked. That's the best it's gonna be for right now, but today is Thursday. Stay up here. <laughs> today is Thursday, October 22nd. I had to tell myself what day it was again. Um, I have already, so I have, nope, this, not, this angle's not gonna work, guys, because I just feel like... Much better. Still a little crooked this way, but we'll work with it. Today, I have kind of a busier day than usual, so I thought I would vlog it. And we already this at eight ten. It is currently eight forty five. At eight ten, we had a. Uh, since I am working in pre K this year, and I have been for the past uh, four years, that's not always the case with paraprofessionals. Anywho. I already had the meeting with, um, it's three pre-K teachers and three pre-K paras, so we were just sitting there having the meeting. Uh, me and my teacher were virtual, everybody else was in their uh, classrooms. And just talking about what we do in these meetings is we talk about uh, what we're working on right now so that we're kind of along the same lines, uh, but remote is very different from being in a classroom so we're a little bit faster if that makes any sense um but next week we're probably going to do the five senses and i am going to get ready because we're doing something called next at 9 a.m we're doing something called uh cur curriculum meeting uh, no curriculum mornings uh where uh what we're gonna do um is talk about how to get more out of remote and that's at nine I just I kept my pajamas on for the pre-k meeting this morning uh, but now I'm going to put on this sweater which you'll see me with it on next and here I am in a different position so I am sitting in front of my vanity and I used a little dry shampoo this morning because my hair, it's only been like a day since I washed it, but my hair gets so oily um, and I'm using this one and I absolutely love it. I don't know why it took me so long. I was trying like every other different kind of dry shampoo, but this one, so good. I feel like I don't have to use it a lot and it's darker color, although it's still a little bit powdery, so. There I go with the sound. Seriously, guys, I just, my brain... It just says certain words over and over and over again. I'm glad we got past, like, um, I was just going to say the um phase. There we go again. Uh, I'm going to brush my hair. I am getting white hairs. I mean, I have been getting white hairs. I just have not felt like coloring it. Uh, and then I had a little bit of makeup on from before. I'm just going to touch up a little bit because I just did, I did the bare minimum. And I won't go through everything, but one of the things I'm going to do is put on powder. And I had so little left of the It Cosmetics powder that I crushed it up because I couldn't get it. Because there's a lot in there. So I just keep it on my vanity table and use it that way. So just putting on a little powder. I think I'm gonna do like, you know, instead of a swear jar, a sew jar. It'll be rich. Full coverage and doesn't feel like you're wearing any makeup. I'm gonna add some blush. My laptop, when I do these meetings, aren't, isn't very good, so. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Maybe uh, I don't feel like you need to be as precise. Maybe that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I'm just putting in some... I said I wasn't going to do the whole thing, but here I am. I'm just brushing through my brows. See, this is what I mean. Uh, you don't have to be precise. It's just kind of 
just giving them a little bit more shape but you don't have to be drawing an instagram brow or anything like that i well i don't do that anyway um i don't feel like you need to unless that's the look that you're going for uh let's see my mascara is still okay i'm done i'm just gonna wait for the meeting to start it's gonna be in about seven minutes and um yeah i will see you guys I'll try to remember to vlog throughout the day. Sometimes I just get into whatever it is I'm doing and I forget to. Uh, while I'm waiting for the next meeting to start, I will check attendance if you have watched my other vlogs uh, when I'm working remote. I do a lot of the attendance stuff because parents have until like 11 a.m. Uh, to sign in. So I'm watching the computer from like 8 to 11. And... I will be checking attendance and just uh, checking my email. Welcome, hello. Hi. Just finished up the curriculum meeting. It went really well. The parents are lovely. There was only about seven families that came out of 16 uh not that great but appreciate the appreciate that uh there were some that showed up uh, at first it was just me and my teacher and at the end she was asking questions she was asking for questions and let me tell you the awkward silences that came before each question and i feel like online it's more noticeable than if you were in person the awkward silences i wanted the ground to open up and swallow me I was looking at everywhere on the screen but their faces. I just couldn't look at them. It was so awkward and I'm one that doesn't like awkward situations or like I can't seem to get over it. Um, so I was just like, so for the last time I was just like, ew, this is so awkward. Um, but that's over and next at 10 we're having, sorry my eyes are tearing up, uh, we're having uh, our small groups with the children and I feel so much more comfortable with the kids than with the, the families so this is it'll be okay uh, but I get my materials ready if we are doing an activity the next day I get my materials ready the night before uh, this week has been activity heavy like actually doing an activity online with the kids as opposed to like posting an activity on the website uh, because it's Halloween week, we don't do that every day, um, but it has been fun to watch the kids working and um, just we're just chatting with them. And yeah, uh, that's it for right now. I will uh, talk to you guys in a little bit. We would love to have you make some ghosts with us. If you have some white paper, you can make some little white ghosts and put some numbers on them. I just wanted to talk about a few things after all the meetings are done for the day and sometimes there'll be one, two, today was three meetings um, which is kind of unusual. Uh, we would have had the two but the curriculum morning one was sort of special and what I'm going to do now like I said was clean up and I'll take a picture of this project put it on our website because we do have a spot for it. Uh, to put our projects up there and I'll put away like you know the scissors uh, color pencil stuff like that um, and then planning I obviously I'm not the teacher so I don't have that much to plan for but I do like to keep track of and the funny thing is all this is on the computer but I like to write things down if like mentally for me it just I remember it better and I also put in here like um, just about everything, the kids' birthdays, what day it is, um, if there's an appointment outside of work, um, I just like to have everything written down in one spot, uh, which has been so nice, and if I'm like, oh, is there something else I need to do, I'll look in here as well, because I do keep a list of things that are coming up, uh, and that has been so helpful. Tomorrow, we are having our Halloween celebration, it's going to be virtual, and I... I like that we're doing it, but it's so hard to build a community virtually. Um, we are having our, how, how, I was going to say how, 
Hello Kitty <laughs> Halloween celebration uh, with a third grade class. Um, there should it should be fun, and I want to. So I'm gonna put on my costume one by one, and maybe you guys will guess it. Pretend that this is all gray and there's not polka dots on here. So here's the first one. No, not Harry Potter. Um, this one might really help out. Any guesses? Any guesses? And then the last thing is this. Did that give it away at all? Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to kind of take, kind of make guesses. Um, elephant from the Elephant and Piggy books. Uh, I did do this character, I believe, a couple of years ago, and I thought maybe that me and my teacher could be, she could be Piggy. Uh, but she's decided to be a unicorn. I wanted to go along the line. So uh, in our school, and I'm sure in other schools as well, near Halloween, we do a storybook character parade. And I wanted to kind of keep it along the lines of a book. So I am Elephant. And hopefully they will get, the kids will get the costume. And I won't get a headache because I every time I wear glasses, I get a headache. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna go, um, do a few other things, uh, check attendance one more time, uh, before 11, and that's, <laughs> I guess that's it for right now. I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry about the lighting, but it is, well, now it's starting to get a dark outside early, but the storm is crazy. The power went out. Oh, that was funny. So I tried to film this in my office before and the power went out and I was like, no, and it was so genuine. I should have kept it in, but I just deleted it right away. That's my automatic when I don't like a, a clip that I film, I delete it right away. Anyway, right now I am cooking dinner. Lasagna's in the oven. That should take about an hour. And uh, But I did end up uh, doing a few more things online and then I took a little nap, starting to work on dinner. I am essentially done with online work. There is something work related later, the UFT meeting, uh, but I don't need to be seen for that, so that's why I'm kind of looking like this. Concentrate on dinner right now, and I'll talk to you a little bit later. It is 8.15, or a little bit after, and I have yet to eat dinner, so I'm gonna do that. After that, I'm gonna take a shower. I'm already prepared for tomorrow don't need to do uh, that much in that department and I think I'm gonna include tomorrow morning just because it's supposed to be kind of like a fun event and you guys can see me in my costume again as I was getting ready for bed I got the idea to make bats and ghosts for our party tomorrow so that is kind of like a fun background when I first started uh, doing the Google meets uh, this year I would I didn't blur the black background now Google Meets has that option where you could blur the background and pick out a background but what happens is it's only focuses on a person and so if I wore like my costume and had this it would blur it out uh, so tomorrow I'm not gonna blur out, blur out my background but I thought that would be kind of fun for the kids to see that that's what I'm working on I'm almost done I have four more to go to hang up and then I'm gonna get going to bed so I'll see you guys tomorrow Today is Friday, October 30th. Happy Friday. We just finished up our Halloween slash storybook celebration. We celebrated Halloween with the third, a third grade in our school that is also remote. So there was a bunch of third graders and maybe a handful of our pre-K kids, which is totally understandable. But I had a lot of fun. I wasn't sure what to expect and I was pretty impressed with how, with how third grade was behaving during the chat. I'm not sure why I thought they were going to be wild. Uh, the chat started to become a little bit funny, but they were really, really good and super impressed. We saw a couple of kids that we have taught in the past, uh, me and my teacher have taught in the past because we've been in pre-K together for the past five years. And it was so, I love seeing kids that we have had in our classroom and seeing how their growth and just how big they are because when they come to see us they're basically babies um, so that was fun and uh, when we when we got on the chat we did the introductions talked about our costumes our grade had very interesting costumes I have to say uh, ours are like they had Harry Potter Star Wars 
our kids were like Super Mario and like Rapunzel, so it was a lot of fun. There was a dance party, and then my teacher read a spooky book, and third graders, again, were really involved in the book. It was the one with the old lady who's walking through the forest, and she hears a bunch of stuff behind her, uh, so uh, it's there's a part of the book where you go like clomp clomp, wiggle wiggle, shake shake, nod nod, clap clap, and, and in the end it's clothes and it's uh, the noises uh, represent clothes and at the end the old woman makes those things that scare her into a scarecrow. Uh, but it was just a lot of fun and an interesting way to celebrate Halloween since we can't do it in person. Oh. Although she bought the dress thinking it was Angelica Schuyler, which I kind of love. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go. Clomp, 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 clomp. That's right. A little farther on, the old lady stumbled on to a pair of pants. And the pants went wiggle, wiggle. So when I say the pants went wiggle, wiggle, you can say wiggle, wiggle. You can wiggle your pants. <laughs> But other than that, I think that's all I have to say. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm not sure if this is going to go up before Halloween or after, but I hope you had a safe Halloween. Uh, you know, it's a weird, is that an understatement, right? A year, weird year. Uh, so stay safe, take care of each other, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.